First snowfall. Today is November 26th. It snowed all day today. The snow is beautiful. The snow finally stopped. My sister and I are excited. My mom doesn't like the snow. My mom has to shovel the driveway. My sister and I get to play. I put on my hat and mittens. My mom puts on my scarf. My mom zippers my jacket. My sister puts on her hat and mittens. My mom puts on her scarf. My mom zippers her jacket. My sister and I go outside. We begin to make a snowman. My mom starts to shovel the snow. My sister and I make snow angels. My sister and I throw snowballs. It starts to snow again. We go inside for hot chocolate. My house. I live in a house. My house is small. My house has two bedrooms. My mom and dad sleep in one bedroom. My sister and I share the other bedroom. My house has a kitchen. My mom and dad cook dinner there every night. My house has a living room. My family watches television there every night. My house has a big bathroom. My house has a lot of closets. My house has a basement. My dad has a workshop in the basement. My dad makes wood furniture. My house does not have a second floor. My house has a garage. My house has a big backyard. My backyard has a maple tree. My backyard has a swimming pool. My backyard has a vegetable garden. My family likes our house. My first pet. My name is Sarah. I am 14 years old. I have a pet cat. My cat's name is Milo. My cat is black and white. Milo's paws are white. Milo's body is black. She is very cute. Milo's fur is very soft. Milo was a very small kitten. Milo is a very big cat. Milo cannot have kittens. She is fixed. Milo likes to eat. Milo likes to play outside. Milo likes to hunt for birds. Milo likes to hunt for mice. She likes her ears scratched. Milo likes to sit in my lap. Milo likes to sleep on my bed. Milo is a good pet. My flower garden. My name is Ann. I love flowers. I have a flower garden. My garden is in front of my house. My neighbor has a garden too. My garden has different types of flowers. I have roses in my garden. I have tulips in my garden. I have petunias in my garden. My garden has different colors. I plant red flowers. I plant orange flowers. I plant blue flowers. I plant purple flowers. I take care of my garden. I water my garden every day. I kill the weeds in my garden. I kill insects that eat my flowers. I love my beautiful garden. Summer vacation. Today is the last day of school. It is summer vacation. Grace is very excited. This summer will be fun. Grace is going to visit her grandparents. They have a cottage. The cottage is on Lake Erie. It is a lot of fun. Grace is going to swim. She is going to play board games. She is going to talk with her grandparents. Grace is going to have fun. Grace is going to a summer camp. She will sleep in a cabin. 
she will make lots of new friends. Grace will learn campfire songs. Camp will be fun. Grace is going to Cape Cod with her parents. We are going for two weeks. We are going to drive. Grace will see the ocean. Cape Cod will be beautiful. Summer vacation is fun. Cleaning up leaves. The leaves are changing colors. I see red maple leaves. I see orange maple leaves. I see yellow maple leaves. The leaves are beautiful. It is starting to get cold. The wind is strong. Winter is coming. The leaves fall off the trees. On Saturday, we will clean them up. The whole family helps. My dad gets the rake. My mom gets the garbage bags. My brother and I help too. We gather leaves with our hands. We make a big pile. My brother and I jump in the leaves. We make a big mess. Our parents don't mind. Our parents fill our coats with leaves. We look really big. Everyone laughs. Playtime is over. Back to work. Joe's first car. Joe is 18 years old. Joe works at McDonald's. Joe saves all his money. Joe has $2,500 in the bank. He wants to buy a sports car. Joe starts to look for a new car. Joe looks in the newspaper. Joe looks in magazines. Joe finds a car he likes. Joe goes to see the car with his dad. He really likes it. Joe doesn't have enough money. Joe's dad tells him to keep saving his money. Joe wants this car a lot. Joe asks his dad to help him. Joe and his dad make a deal. Joe's dad will lend him the money. Joe must work hard. He must pay the money back to his dad. Joe is very happy. Joe owns his first car. Jennifer, the firefighter. Jennifer Smith is a firefighter. She is one of the first female firefighters. Jennifer works hard every day. Jennifer exercises every day. She lifts weights. She wants her muscles to be very strong. She saves people's lives every day. She is very strong. Jennifer is married. Her husband is a school teacher. Jennifer's husband is proud of her. Jennifer is a mother. She has two daughters. Jennifer's daughters are proud of her too. Jennifer is happy being a firefighter. Jennifer is happy being a wife. Jennifer is happy being a mother. Mark's big game. Mark's favorite sport is hockey. He is 15 years old. Mark practices three times a week. Practices are two hours long. Mark plays one game a week. Mark is a good hockey player. He plays on Friday nights. Friday night hockey games are popular. Mark's family watches him play. Mark's friends watch him play too. There are always many fans. Tonight is the big game. Coaches are coming to watch Mark play. Mark wants to play in the National Hockey League. Mark wants to make a lot of money. It is very hard to play in the NHL. Mark's parents want him to go to college. They want him to have an education. They want Mark to be successful. They want Mark to be happy. Going camping. The Bright family went camping on the weekend. The Bright family went to Silent Lake. The Bright family left on Friday. They camped for three days. 
The Bright family brought a big tent. They brought a lot of food. They brought insect repellent. The Bright family had a campfire on Friday. They roasted marshmallows. They sang campfire songs. On Saturday, they went canoeing. On Saturday, they went fishing. On Saturday, they went swimming. They went hiking on Sunday. The Bright family saw many birds. They saw blue jays. They saw hummingbirds. The Bright family saw many animals. They saw a raccoon. They saw a squirrel. But they didn't see a bear. The Bright family had a fun vacation. Jessica's first day of school. Today is Jessica's first day of kindergarten. Jessica and her parents walk to school. Jessica's mom walks with her to her classroom. Jessica meets her teacher. His name is Mr. Parker. The school bell rings at 8 45 a.m. Jessica hugs and kisses her mom goodbye. Jessica's mom says, I love you. At 9 a.m., Jessica stands for the national anthem. Mr. Parker calls out children's names. Each child yells back, Here. Mr. Parker teaches them about letters. Mr. Parker teaches them about numbers. At 10 15 a.m., the students have recess. Recess is fun. The students get to play and eat. At 10 30 a.m., the students go to gym class. At 11 15 a.m., the students return to Mr. Parker's classroom. Mr. Parker tells the students to sit on the carpet. Mr. Parker reads the students a story. Mr. Parker teaches the students a song. The lunch bell rings. Jessica's first day of school is over. Seasons. There are four seasons. Winter is the cold season, it snows in the winter. The winds blow and ice forms on the water. We play hockey on the ice. We play in the snow. After winter is the spring. That is when it begins to get warmer. Trees get buds on them. Flowers start to bloom. It rains a lot in the spring. Spring is followed by the summer. It can get very hot in the summertime. The sun shines brightly. We go swimming in the summer. We spend a lot of time outdoors. Many people go on vacations in the summer. We get a summer vacation from school. Summer is followed by the fall or autumn. The leaves on the trees change colors. They change from green to red, orange, and brown. The leaves fall off the trees. The weather gets cooler. The days get shorter. We go back to school in the fall. Then winter comes again. The seasons follow one after each other. Susan's Wedding Day Susan is getting married. Her fiance's name is Michael. They are in love. They are getting married today. Susan wakes up early. She is getting her hair done. Susan is having her makeup done too. Susan looks beautiful. She puts on her white wedding dress. She puts on her veil. Susan needs something blue. Her garter is blue. Susan needs something old. Her grandmother's ring is old. Susan needs something borrowed. She is wearing her mother's jewelry. Susan needs something new. Her shoes and dress are new. Susan needs a penny for her shoe. It will bring her good luck. Susan is ready to get married. 
Thanksgiving. We are having Thanksgiving at our house. My whole family is coming. My parents bought a turkey. It weighs 30 pounds. It takes a long time to cook. My mom wakes up early to cook the turkey. I clean the house with my dad. The house smells good. We help mom in the kitchen. I peel potatoes and carrots. My dad makes pumpkin pies. My mom cooks squash. I help my mom make stuffing. I mix the bread and spices. We make good stuffing. It goes inside the turkey. We put on nice clothes. I set the table. My dad carves the turkey. My mom makes the gravy. Our relatives arrive. We say thank you for all we have. We eat and eat. It is a good Thanksgiving. Learning how to drive. Amy is 16 years old. She lives in a small town. Amy is learning how to drive. Amy's dad is giving her lessons. Amy's dad's name is Howard. Amy has had three lessons. Amy and her dad argue during the lessons. Amy's mom is giving her driving lessons. Amy's mom's name is Jane. Jane has given Amy a lesson. Jane has decided to stop giving Amy lessons. Jane and Amy argue during the lessons too. Amy's parents call a driving school. Amy is going to get lessons from a professional. The classes cost three hundred dollars for ten lessons. The lessons are very good. Amy learns how to drive. Amy gets her license. Daily schedule. I wake up every morning at seven o'clock. I take a shower. I eat my breakfast. I usually have toast or cereal. I brush my teeth. I put on my clothes. I catch the school bus. I ride to school. In my class, we have math and English before recess. At recess time, the girls skip or walk around and talk. The boys play in the playground or play baseball. After recess, we have physical education and geography. We eat lunch and then we play outside. When the bell rings. We line up to go back into the classroom. After lunch, we have history and science. At recess, we play ball again. Some of the girls play ball too. In the winter, we build snowmen. If it is too cold, we stay indoors and talk to each other. After recess, we have music and health. We get out of school at three thirty. I sometimes walk home with my friends, or I take the bus. I have a snack and change my clothes when I get home. If it is raining, I watch television. If it is nice outside, I play with my friends. I have supper at five thirty. On some nights, I help my mother to do the dishes. After supper, I do my homework. I wash my face and hands and brush my teeth. I change into my pajamas. I go to bed at nine o'clock. My body. On the top of my head, I have hair. Below my hair is my face. I have two eyes. I have eyebrows and eyelashes. Below my eyes, I have a nose. My mouth is below my nose. I have lips. If I open my lips, you will see my teeth and my tongue. Below my mouth is my chin. On the sides of my head, I have two ears. My cheeks are on either side of my nose. My neck holds up my head. My neck attaches my head to my chest. On either side of my chest are my shoulders. My arms hang down from my shoulders. 
I have wrists on my arms. My hands are attached to my wrists. My fingers are part of my hands. I have ten fingers and ten fingernails. My back is at the back of me. Further down, there is my waist. If I wear a belt, I put it on my waist. My hips are below my waist. My legs come down from my hips. My legs are made up of my thighs, my knees, and my calves. My knees can bend. My ankles are below my legs. My feet are attached to my ankles. My toes are part of my feet. I have ten toes and ten toenails. I am me from the top of my head to the tip of my toes. Working outside. Today I was working outside. It was a sunny day, and I was very hot. I wore a hat on my head. I watered all the plants. I weeded the flower beds. I cut back all of the plants that were growing too big. I gave some of the plants plant food. I cut the lawn. I raked the lawn. I filled up the bird baths with water. I swept the sidewalks and the paths. I took out the garbage. I filled the car up with gas. I washed the car. I hung out the clothes on the clothesline. I washed down the lawn furniture. I washed all of the windows on the house from the outside. I was so tired, so I had a glass of lemonade. I talked to my neighbor, and I helped her trim a tree. I planted some bulbs, and then I went into the house. I was exhausted. Colors. Red is a vibrant color. Roses are sometimes red. Blood is red. White is the color of snow. Clouds are very often white. Blue is the color of the sky and the ocean. Black isn't really a color at all. Tar is black. A crow is black. Green is the color of grass. It is also the color of leaves on the trees in the summer. Brown is the color of dirt. Many people have brown hair. Yellow is a bright color. Most people use yellow when they draw a picture of the sun. Orange is an easy color to remember. That is because an orange is orange. Pink is the color that we dress baby girls in. We dress baby boys in blue. Purple is the color of some violets. The Canadian flag is red and white. What color is your flag? Wild animals. Some animals are wild. They don't live in homes or cages. They live in jungles or on plains. The lion is the king of the beasts. He is very mighty. He roars loudly. The giraffe has a long neck. He eats leaves from the tallest trees. The elephant is very large. He has a trunk and two tusks. A tiger has stripes. Some bears are black and some are brown. There are even white bears called polar bears. A kangaroo lives in Australia. That is the only place that you would find a kangaroo except in a zoo. It might be frightening to run into a wolf or a fox. Monkeys run and play in the trees. In Canada, we don't see lions, tigers, giraffes, or monkeys running wild. There are squirrels in my backyard. Sometimes I see a raccoon or a chipmunk. In northern Ontario, you might see a moose or a bear. I have seen a deer in the forest. There are many wild animals. You can see wild animals if you go to the zoo. Pets. There are many different animals that you can have for pets. The most common pets are cats and dogs. I think the second most common pets are birds and fish. 
You can hug a cat or a dog. You can play with a cat or a dog, but it is difficult to play with a bird or a fish. Some birds are very smart, and they can be taught to do things. Parrots are very clever. Some of them even talk. Birds usually stay in bird cages. Fish have to stay in the water in a tank or a fishbowl. Some people have gerbils or guinea pigs as pets. There are even people who have ferrets as pets. I have a friend who has a lizard for a pet. She has to buy live crickets for her lizard to eat. Another friend of mine has a pet snake. I don't think I would like to have a pet snake. There are different types of dogs. Some dogs are very big and some are small. A Labrador Retriever is a big dog. A poodle is usually a small dog, although there are some large poodles. Some dogs are noisy and they bark a lot. Other dogs are quiet and obedient. I once had a dog. It was a cocker spaniel. I used to take it for walks. There are different types of cats too. My favorite type of cat is a Siamese cat. Siamese cats have blue eyes. My mother had a Persian cat. It was very furry. My mother said that it used to shed fur all over the house. Pets are a lot of fun, but they are a lot of work too. To be a good pet owner, you have to be very responsible. Grocery shopping. What do you see when you go to the grocery store? The aisles are filled with food. There are also refrigerators and freezers filled with food. There are sometimes things in bins in the middle of the aisles. There are different departments in the grocery store. There is the bakery. In the bakery, there are sweet things such as cakes, pies, cookies, and tarts. There are also things that you would eat with your dinner, like bread and buns. There are other things in the bakery department, like bagels and biscuits. The baker works in the bakery. There is the canned goods section. This is where you might find sauces and soups. Vegetables and fruits also come in cans. There is the section for dairy products. Here you would find milk and cream. The dairy section would also have cheese and butter. Yogurt is also found in the dairy section. In the meat department, there is beef and pork. Poultry is also found in the meat department. Poultry is chicken, duck, and goose. There are also cold cuts in the meat department. Cold cuts are the meats that are sliced up for sandwiches. Some examples of cold cuts are ham and bologna. The butcher works in the meat department. The produce department is full of fruits and vegetables. Clerks spray water on the fruits and vegetables to keep them fresh. There is a section in the grocery store for personal hygiene. This is where you would find shampoo and toothpaste. Soap and skin products would also be in this section. There is even a section for your pets. You can buy cat food and dog food. There are toys for cats and dogs. Differences. Are you tall or short? Are you big or small? People come in many different shapes and sizes. Some people wear size small clothes. Other people wear size medium clothes. There are people who wear large size clothes. Some people even wear extra large clothes. Some people are thin. Some people are fat. Some people are in between. There are people with short hair. Other people have long hair. Some people have no hair at all. No two people are exactly alike. Some people have long legs. I have short legs. I don't walk as fast as a person with long legs. I am not a tall person. In fact, I am quite short. My feet are a size seven. My mother has size five feet. My father has size twelve feet. We are all different sizes. It is not a bad thing. It is a good thing that we are all unique. Who, what, where, and why? These are important words. They are all words that begin questions. Who is about a person? Who is the girl with the blue dress on? Who stole my watch? Who will come with me to the game? 
Who is driving us to the party? What is about a thing? What is that big thing on the sidewalk? What should I do when I get to your house? What kind of clothes should I wear to the party? What shall I buy you for your birthday? Where is about a place? Where are you going for your vacation? Where did I leave my glasses? Where did my brother go? Where on earth is Timmins? Why is the word that asks for an explanation? Why did you take the last piece of pie? Why is the world round? Why should I give you any money? Why did the chicken cross the street? They say that you should answer all of these questions if you are writing a good story. You have to give the who, what, where, and why to write a good story. My cat. I got my cat when she was just a tiny kitten. I named her Puff because her fur is soft and fluffy. She has white fur, but her tail, paws, and ears are black. She has a little pink nose and yellow eyes. She says meow whenever she wants a bowl of milk. I feed her cat food and treats. She washes her face with her paw when she is finished eating. My whole family loves her, and we can tell that she loves us. She loves to curl up in our laps. She purrs whenever we pet her. She is very playful. We sometimes roll up a piece of paper and throw it to her. She loves to chase the paper and hit it with her paws. She also chases bugs. Last night she chased a spider, but she was afraid to touch it. At night she curls up in my bed with me. She likes to be warm. I have given her a blanket of her own, but when I put her on it, her tail twitches. Her tail twitches whenever she's upset or angry. I know she doesn't want to be on her blanket. She wants to be in my bed. I let her into my bed, and she falls asleep, purring loudly. Bugs. Many people are afraid of bugs. Some bugs do bad things, like eating crops or clothes. Some bugs, such as termites, even eat wood. Other bugs can be good. Spiders catch flies. Flies are not good because they carry germs. Insects get caught in the web that the spider builds. Ants get into homes and eat food. Bees are good because honey comes from bees. It is not good if you get stung by a bee. A caterpillar turns into a butterfly. Butterflies can be very beautiful. You can find grasshoppers outside on a sunny day. Grasshoppers hop through the grass. Crickets make a noise by rubbing their legs together. Dragonflies usually live near water. They have large, colorful wings. Ladybugs are red with little black dots. There are many types of beetles. Nobody wants to have cockroaches in their house. Centipedes have many legs. Fleas get onto your pets and bite them. They make your dog or cat itchy. Mosquitoes can make you itchy when they bite you. Have you ever had a mosquito bite? Fruit. Some fruit grows on trees. Apples grow on trees. You can get red, yellow, or green apples. Some apples are green until they ripen. Then they turn red. Peaches grow on trees. Peaches have a fuzzy skin. Cherries grow on trees. You can climb a ladder and pick cherries from the tree. Cherries and peaches have pits inside them. The pits are not edible. Pears also grow on trees. Lemons grow on trees. They are very sour. Have you ever picked strawberries? Strawberries do not grow on trees. You have to bend down to pick strawberries. Have you ever tried strawberry shortcake? It is very good. Grapes grow on vines. People use grapes to make wine. There are many types of berries. There are blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and cranberries, just to name a few. Some fruits are more exotic. There are mangoes and papayas. They don't grow in Canada. 
Bananas and oranges don't grow in a Canadian climate either, but we are able to buy them here. Some fruits have to be peeled, and some can be eaten as they are. It is always a good idea to wash fruit before you eat it. The farmers spray the crops with pesticides to kill bugs, so it is good to wash that off. Christmas Eve. Ben and Melissa are getting ready for Christmas. Ben and Melissa's house has lots of lights on the roof. The lights are many colors. Inside, they listen to Christmas music. Ben and Melissa drink eggnog. Eggnog tastes good. Ben and Melissa hang stockings on the fireplace. They string popcorn. Ben and Melissa put the popcorn string on the Christmas tree. They put Christmas lights on the tree. They put tinsel on the tree. Ben and Melissa put ornaments on the tree. They put a star on top of the tree. They get ready for Santa Claus. They leave milk and cookies for Santa. Ben opens one present. Melissa opens one present. They go to sleep. Ben and Melissa wake up early. They run downstairs. There are a lot of presents under our tree. They wake up their mom and dad. Ben and Melissa open their presents. They love our presents. Everyone cleans up the wrapping paper. It is time for breakfast. Clothing. I change my clothes a lot. If I am going somewhere fancy, I wear a dress. I wear stockings on my legs, and I wear a pair of nice shoes. If I am going to play sports, I wear a sweatshirt and jeans. If I am going to the beach, I wear a bathing suit or a bikini. My brother wears swimming trunks to the beach. At work, I wear a skirt and a blouse. Underneath my clothes, I wear underwear. A lady wears a bra and panties as underwear. A man wears boxer or jockey shorts as underwear. Today, I am wearing a blouse and a pair of jeans over my underwear. I have socks and shoes on my feet. In the summer, I often wear sandals on my feet. In the summer, the tops that I wear are usually sleeveless. I usually wear shorts in the summer. Sometimes I wear a sweater or a jacket if the weather is cool. I wear a cap or a hat on my head. I wear a belt to hold up my jeans or my slacks. Women sometimes wear a dress or a skirt. Men wear a pair of slacks and a shirt. Some men wear a suit and a shirt and tie. If it is very cold outside, I wear a winter coat. If it is cold, I like to wear gloves or mittens on my hands. Sometimes I wrap a scarf around my neck to keep warm. I wear a toque on my head in cold weather. I wear boots on my feet in the winter. If it is raining, I wear a raincoat. The way that I dress depends a lot on the weather. Days of the week. There are seven days of the week. Sunday is a day of rest for some people, but many people still have to work. Quite a few people go to church on a Sunday. On Monday morning, we go back to school after the weekend. Many people say they don't like Monday because it is the beginning of the work week. Tuesday is a school day and a working day. I don't think that there is anything special about a Tuesday. Wednesday is the middle of the work week. On Thursday, many of the stores and malls stay open later. It gives you a chance to run some errands on a Thursday night. On Friday, you feel like the work week is nearly over. Some people say, "Thank goodness it is Friday." They look forward to the weekend. On Saturday, many people can sleep in late. People get errands done on Saturday. You see a lot of people in the grocery store on a Saturday. 
Most children look forward to Saturday so that they can play with their friends. Then Sunday comes again. The weeks turn into months, and the months turn into years. Time goes by quite quickly. Diseases. There are many diseases. Some diseases are very deadly, and some are not so serious. Most people catch a cold sometimes. A cold makes you cough and sneeze. Colds can be passed on from person to person. Some people get the flu. With the flu, you get chills and a fever. A fever is a high temperature. If you have the flu, you will feel very bad. You have to stay home in bed. There are diseases that children get. The mumps make you have lumps in your neck. Chickenpox and measles leave you with red itchy dots on your skin. Older people sometimes get arthritis. Their bones get stiff and sore. There are people who get heart disease. In many cases, a healthy lifestyle can prevent heart disease. Cancer can attack different parts of the body. Many smokers get lung cancer. Some diseases are treated with pills or medicine. Other diseases need to be treated in the hospital. Sometimes doctors need to give you tests to find out what kind of disease you have. The doctor might have to do a blood test or an X-ray to find out what is wrong with you. Most diseases can be cured by a doctor. Flowers. There are hundreds of different types of flowers. Most people like roses. Roses grow on bushes and they smell beautiful. You have to be careful that you don't prick your finger on a rose thorn. Roses come in many colors. There are red, pink, yellow, and white roses. In the spring, tulips are in bloom. In Ottawa, there are many tulips. Some people go there just to see all the tulips in the spring. Forget-me-nots are also spring flowers. They are tiny and blue. Lilies of the valley look like white bells. Where I live, many of the trees have blossoms on them in the springtime. The apple and cherry trees look particularly beautiful when they are in blossom. We have a blossom festival in my town. My neighbors like to plant geraniums, petunias, and marigolds in the summer. Some people plant sunflowers. Sunflowers grow very tall. They have bright yellow petals. All of those flowers grow best in the sunshine. If your garden is shady, you have to plant different things. Hostas grow well in a shady garden. Chrysanthemums are fall flowers. Chrysanthemums come in many colors, also. There are purple, yellow, and white chrysanthemums. Flowers are good to give as gifts. Women like to receive a dozen roses on Valentine's Day. Carnations also make a nice gift. They have a very sweet smell. Many people give away lilies for Easter. Poinsettias are very festive at Christmas time. If someone goes to a dance, they often give their partner a flower to wear. Sometimes a girl will get an orchid from her date. If you go to a wedding, you will probably see a lot of flowers there. Flowers help to make places beautiful. Food. What kinds of food do you like to eat? I am lucky because in Canada there are many foods to choose from. I like to eat hot dogs, hamburgers, and steak. These are all meat products. I also like cheese, ice cream, and yogurt. 
These are all dairy products. I like vegetables. My favorite vegetables are broccoli, cabbage, carrots, and peas. I eat a lot of fruit. I eat whichever fruit is in season. In strawberry season, I eat a lot of strawberries. In peach season, I eat many peaches. Sometimes my mother will make a peach pie. Many different crops grow in Canada. We have many orchards and farms. Fresh fruit and vegetables are plentiful in Canada. Meat and fish are also plentiful here. In Canada, we have a lot of different foods to choose from. In my city, there are a lot of Italian restaurants. My favorite food at the Italian restaurant is pizza. My parents would rather have spaghetti or lasagna. There are Greek restaurants, Mexican restaurants, and Chinese restaurants. In fact, there are restaurants from most cultures. I can go around from restaurant to restaurant and pretend that I am traveling the world and trying all the different foods from around the world. Sometimes I eat things that aren't good for me. I eat potato chips and candies. These foods aren't part of a nutritious diet, but they are fun to eat. Months. There are twelve months in the year. January is the first month of the year. It is usually cold in January. February is the second month of the year. It is still winter when February comes. They say that March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. That means that it is still usually cold and sometimes stormy when March begins. By the time that March ends, the weather is starting to get a little better. April is the rainy month. April showers bring May flowers. Many of the spring flowers bloom in May. The weather can be quite mild in May. June is usually a nice warm month. Many people get married in June. July can be hot. People have vacations in July. It is a month to do summer things. It is still summer in August, but The summer is winding down. August is the time to have last-minute vacations. In September, we go back to school. The autumn winds begin to blow. October really feels like autumn. October is Halloween time. November is when we really start to feel the chill. December is the Christmas month. Most people do a lot of Christmas shopping in December. They spend quite a bit of time getting ready for Christmas. All of the months are different. Which month were you born in? Describing things. Some things are different shapes. They can be described by their shape. A circle is round. A compact disc is a circle. A square has four equal sides. A rectangle is similar, but two of the sides are longer. A triangle has only three sides. Have you ever seen anyone play a triangle in an orchestra? The word triangle can stand for an instrument or a shape. An oval is rounded, but it is not round. An egg is an oval shape. The floor is flat. If something is smooth, it has no bumps or lumps. Silk is smooth. Some things are rough. Sandpaper is rough. If something is dull, it is not sharp or pointed. A dull knife will not cut bread because the blade is not sharp. If something is pointed, it has a sharp end. A sharp pencil has a pointed end. A pencil that has been used a lot and hasn't been sharpened has a dull end. Some things are soft. A teddy bear is soft. It feels good to touch. Some things are hard. A rock is hard. Soft can also represent a noise level. If you have a soft voice, it is not very loud. If someone tells you to speak softly, they want you to speak quietly. Loud is the word used to describe noises that hurt your ears. A big truck will make a loud noise. Sometimes your mother will tell you that your music is too loud. 
Fruit. Some fruit grows on trees. Apples grow on trees. You can get red, yellow, or green apples. Some apples are green until they ripen. Then they turn red. Peaches grow on trees. Peaches have a fuzzy skin. Cherries grow on trees. You can climb a ladder and pick cherries from the tree. Cherries and peaches have pits inside them. The pits are not edible. Pears also grow on trees. Lemons grow on trees. They are very sour. Have you ever picked strawberries? Strawberries do not grow on trees. You have to bend down to pick strawberries. Have you ever tried strawberry shortcake? It is very good. Grapes grow on vines. People use grapes to make wine. There are many types of berries. There are blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and cranberries, just to name a few. Some fruits are more exotic. There are mangoes and papayas. They don't grow in Canada. Bananas and oranges don't grow in a Canadian climate either, but we are able to buy them here. Some fruits have to be peeled, and some can be eaten as they are. It is always a good idea to wash fruit before you eat it. The farmers spray the crops with pesticides to kill bugs, so it is good to wash that off. The kitchen. The kitchen is where we make and eat our meals. There is a stove in the kitchen. Inside the stove, there is an oven where you bake things. You can put a cake into the oven to bake. On top of the stove are burners. The burners get hot. You put pots or pans on the burners. The refrigerator is where we store the food that needs to be kept cold. We keep milk, eggs, cheese. And vegetables in the refrigerator. At the top of the refrigerator is the freezer. The freezer keeps things frozen. We have frozen vegetables, ice cream, and ice cubes in the freezer. We have a toaster in the kitchen. You put the bread in the toaster, and it turns into toast. We have an electric kettle. We boil water to make tea in the kettle. There is a double sink in the kitchen. That is where we wash the dishes. We turn on the hot tap and put some dish detergent into the sink to wash the dishes. Sometimes we put the dishes into the dishwasher, and the dishwasher washes the dishes. There are other things in the kitchen. There are utensils like knives, forks, and spoons. There are tea towels and dishcloths. There are oven mitts and pot holders to take hot things out of the oven. There are pots to cook and boil things in. There are pans to fry things. We have dishes that we eat from. We have plates for our dinner and bowls that we can put our soup in. We drink from cups or coffee mugs or glasses. We keep our juice in a pitcher or a jug. There is a timer that you can set when you are cooking. The timer buzzes when the food is ready. We also have a microwave oven in the kitchen. If we are in a hurry, we cook our food in the microwave. Vegetables. Vegetables are very good for you. They say that you should have three servings of vegetables every day. I like green peas. Peas come in pods. I also like snow peas. You eat the pods on the snow peas. I like corn when it is on the cob. Carrots are good to eat raw. Beans are good for you. There are many different types of beans. There are string beans, kidney beans, baked beans, and lots of other types of beans. Some people don't like green vegetables like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. I like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. You can make a salad and put lots of different vegetables into the salad. In my salads, I like lettuce, tomatoes, celery, cucumber, radishes, cauliflower, and spring onions. I try to have a salad with dressing on it every day. My dad likes root vegetables like beets and parsnips. My brother will only eat potatoes. He likes his potatoes baked. My mother likes to buy her vegetables at the market. She says they are fresher there. My mother buys a lot of onions. She puts onions in almost all the meals that she cooks. Some children won't eat their vegetables. I didn't like some vegetables at first, but I have become used to them. 
I like having vegetables with my meals. Parties. Parties can be a lot of fun. People get invited to parties. You can have a party because it is a special occasion or just because you want to have a party. Sometimes people wear paper hats at parties. These are called party hats. Some people decorate with streamers and balloons. At some parties, there is a cake. Sometimes there are just snacks and drinks. At some parties, people play games. There are also parties where people just stand around and talk. People wear different things to parties. You can go to some parties in casual clothes. At other parties, you need to be dressed up in good clothes. There are other parties where you are supposed to wear a costume. There are many different kinds of parties. There are Christmas parties, birthday parties, going away parties, and parties for no reason at all. I have been to parties for people who are retiring or for people who have just had a new baby. There are hundreds of reasons for having a party. At some parties, you take a gift. If it is a birthday party, then you take a gift and a birthday card to the person who is having the birthday. Sometimes people will ask you to bring food or drinks to the party. All parties are different. It is nice to be invited to parties. Money. I keep my money in the bank. I have saved up my money. I saved all my pennies in a jar. A penny is only worth one cent. I have nickels. A nickel is worth five cents. A dime is worth ten cents. A quarter is worth twenty-five cents. A quarter is a quarter of a dollar. Four quarters make up a dollar. A dollar is worth one hundred cents. I saved up all of my dollars. Our dollars used to be paper, but now they are coins. We call our dollars loonies. It's a funny name. We also have two-dollar coins. We call those toonies. We have five-dollar bills and ten-dollar bills. If you are lucky, you will have twenty-dollar bills, fifty-dollar bills, and even hundred-dollar bills. Our bills in Canada are different colors. That makes them easy to recognize if you go somewhere to spend them. It is wise to save your money. If you save enough, you can have hundreds or thousands of dollars. Jobs. There are many different jobs that you can choose from. You can be a doctor or a nurse. You could work in a hospital or doctor's office. You might be a firefighter and put out fires. A policeman enforces the law. An actor plays roles on stage or in the movies. You could drive a taxi or be the pilot of an airplane. What kinds of things do you like to do? You might want to be a sales clerk in a store. Maybe you are good at a sport. You could be a baseball player or a hockey player. Being a dentist is a good job. A dentist fixes teeth. If you are good at arguing, you might want to be a lawyer. Do you like to fix people's hair? You could be a hairdresser or a barber. If you are good with your hands, you might want to be a carpenter or a mechanic. If you like to travel, you could be a stewardess or a travel agent. You could be a teacher or a photographer. Are you artistic or creative? You might want to be an artist or a writer. You could work on construction and build houses. You could look after animals and be a veterinarian. If you like to cook, you could be a cook or a chef. There are so many places to work and so many jobs to do. Maybe you could fix computers or work in a library. You could wash windows or be the captain of a ship. There is no limit to what you can be. Travel. It is fun to take a trip to a faraway place. 
My brother just went to Italy and France. He got on a plane at Toronto Airport. He took a flight to France. He stayed there for a couple of days. He visited the Eiffel Tower. He was in Paris. He said that he enjoyed the food in France. He then traveled to Italy. He saw many towns and villages in Italy. He went to Rome and visited many of the tourist attractions. In Venice, he saw the canals. He tried to speak Italian, but he is not too good at it. He said that the people were very helpful. They tried to understand him. He bought souvenirs for us when he was in Italy. He ate Italian food. He said that pizza in Italy is quite different from the pizza we eat here in Canada. He saw many streets that were made of cobblestones. He saw many old buildings. A lot of people in Italy travel around on scooters. He stayed at a very nice hotel in Italy. He was sorry when it was time to come home. My brother likes to travel. He likes to fly in airplanes. The airlines lost his luggage once. He was not too pleased about that. Next year, he would like to travel to England. The farm. My uncle is a farmer. He lives on a farm. He has many different types of animals. In the barn, there are horses and cows. The cows swish the flies away from themselves with their tails. It sounds very loud if a cow says moo when you are standing there. The cows eat the grass from my uncle's field. He gets milk from the cows. I put a saddle on one of the horses and went for a ride. There are pigs in the pig pen. He has goats. He says that the goats will eat just about anything. He has a chicken coop with chickens in it. The chickens lay eggs. Have you ever seen baby chicks? They are very cute. My uncle collects the eggs every morning. There is a rooster, too. The rooster crows when the sun comes up. My uncle also has a goose. The goose makes a honking noise. I don't think that the goose likes me. It nicks me when I go near it. Many cats live in my uncle's barn. They are stray cats, but he lets them stay there because they keep the mice away. My uncle feeds the cats. My uncle says that he would like to get some sheep for his farm. You can get wool from sheep. There are a lot of animals on my uncle's farm.